Congolese providers to uh, see the local population, uh, their, whatever diseases they, they have. But you individually, what's your job at the site? Uh, to uh, help uh, evaluate uh, the patients. We're working with the Congolese providers, sharing information as far as treatment methods and uh, modalities and, and uh, discussing uh, some common diseases as well as some that we don't always see in the United States and learning from them as well. So what kind of cases are you seeing today? We're seeing a lot of uh, stuff we're used to seeing as far as high blood pressure and diabetes and then it's a few of the things that, uh, that we don't always see such as the states, you know, malaria and some uh, consequences of meningitis and things like that. And, because of their not having a lot of access to health care, things are allowed to go on further than they would if they were here in the United States. Now, what kind of help are you able to offer at a, a sort of impromptu site like this? Well, the biggest thing we can help is uh, medications, actually. Uh, they're really kind of short on medications, so we bring a lot of medications to the, uh, to the table, as well as uh, some of our uh, educational pieces. We had some time with uh, the Congolese prior to this, so we traded uh, treatment methods and and ideas to help uh, fine-tune their uh, therapy plan, and they, they reciprocated with uh, theirs as well. The goal of the MetFlag exercise uh, is two, if not threefold, uh, depending on the point of view, either Congolese or American. Uh, for us as Americans, what we want to do is increase our interoperability with Congolese forces, uh, get an understanding of the kind of things that they deal with on a daily basis, uh, and try to give them some opportunities to learn from the kind of ways that we do things. So that's what we want to do. For the Congolese, it's a chance to learn some new techniques uh, from the U.S. Army, particularly as it applies to this exercise in medical techniques. Uh, we found the Congolese UMIR uh, medical forces to be fairly well trained, uh, but perhaps lacking enough resources to be as effective as they might want to be. Uh, so it's been a good opportunity for us to uh, work with them, train with them, uh, learn some of the medical issues that they deal with on a daily basis, and indeed some of the medical issues uh, that affect Africa as a whole.